Welcome to In Good Taste, I'm Mike. And my name's Lauren. Today we're gonna teach you how to make sangria. Sangria is traditionally a Spanish drink. It's uh, typically sweet and fruity and served chilled. There are many different uh, recipes for sangria. You, uh, so don't be, don't be afraid to be creative. You can really add anything that you, anything that you have, all kinds of fruit. Now the first and most important ingredient to sangria is red wine. Today we are using Oak Heights Estate Covert Hill Red, which is purchased here locally. Um, this wine is light and fruity and the perfect component for our sangria. What else are you adding? So next we are going to add a little bit of lime. So you typically add about half a lime. So you just squeeze the juice in. Get all the drops. As much as you can out of there. Yep. Do you want to get any of the pulp in there? Oh, you're just going to drop yep, it Yeah, just drop it right in. Adds to the flavor. And half an orange as well. You just get all the delicious citrusy flavors. Just throw it right in. And next, uh, you'll add about a tablespoon of sugar. A little bit more and mix it all up. So you want to make sure that there's no sugar at the bottom. You want to make sure it's all dissolved. So that you added about a tablespoon to one bottle then? Yeah. So you add 750 milliliters of wine, half a lemon, half a lime, half an orange, and uh, about a tablespoon of sugar. So next we're going to chop up our fruit here. Now when you're chopping up fruits for sangria, you want to do nice thin slices. This is for the garnish? Uh, no, it's going to be added right in. Okay. So the more surface area you have, the more concentrated fruit flavor you'll receive, pretty much. So you want to do nice thin slices or cubes. Um, I have a little bit of everything here. I have a little bit of kiwi. We're just going to add it right in. A little bit of lemon. Strawberry, of course. That's strawberry some season, lime isn't it? and some nice big slices of oranges. The big slices really add a nice dimension to the wine. Really make it nice and colorful. So next, you will want to chill the wine. So you stick it in the fridge for about an hour or so. And actually, if uh, for best results, you'll want to do it overnight. So that way, all the fruit juices integrate all, right. integrate together. Makes sense. So when it is chilled, then you simply Pour over ice, and I forgot to mention when you're chopping the fruit, you definitely want to leave some left over for the garnishes. It's a must. Got to make it pretty. That's right. <laughs> and also, what I do is I add a little bit of Seven Up just to give it a little bit of a spritz. Just a little shot. Just to lighten it up, so. Yep. A couple ounces in a glass. Yeah, just a. Just a little bit, and then you stick on your lovely garnishes. And there we go. Make it nice and colorful. Stick in some straws. A nice little colorful umbrella. And there you have it. Then you drink it. A nice chilled glass of sangria for these hot summer days. Fun and good taste. Thank you very much for joining us. In Good Taste is brought to you by Oak Heights Estate Winery, an experience worth sharing in Northumberland County. Grab a paper and pen. Coming up on In Good Taste, we're going to show you how to make delicious Spanish sangria. Mmm, that's good.